Hylian 7 comes with FM Lab, an extremely powerful and versatile FM synthesizer. You can create modern cutting edge FM sounds or you can recreate those classic vintage sounds from synths like the DX7. Let's check it out. So this is FM Lab. As you can see right here, I'm running it in Halion 7, but this is also an instrument which you can buy separately if you want to use it this way. Before diving into the features, I want to play a few of the sounds so that you can hear what kind of sonic qualities you can get out of this instrument. So you can get all these beautiful classic FM sounds, but with the modern twist. And this incredible low end, but we can also get some really earth shattering modern 808s. And we cannot talk about FM without playing an FM EP, right? Let's try this beautiful sound. This is called Death of a Robot. And as you can see, the presets come with sets of chords and I can trigger them straight away so that I can get an idea of the sound. Beautiful. Now I want to play another preset for you that really shows the sound design depth of FM Lab. This is called Drum Loops Factory 2 and you will be surprised but this is coming all from one single FM synth. So everything that you hear, the kick drums, the snare, all these elements, the hi-hat elements, they all come from one single instance of FM Lab. That's incredible. So you can create pretty much any kind of sound that you want. Now let me give you a very quick overview of the interface. It's a very, very simple to use interface and sound designing in FM Lab is really a breeze. I'm going to select the preset lately. And as you can see, we have a nice oscilloscope right here, which can come in handy when you start modulating your operators. And here we have pretty much all the common controls. So we have our FM oscillator page, our pitch page, our filter page, and our amp page. And if I click on any one of those, I can get into more detail into these controls. And another very powerful thing with FM Lab is that the amp, filter and pitch envelopes can be turned into multi-stage envelopes. And of course, we can use the shaper envelope mode as well to create or load our own custom shapes. Then we have quite a few common controls for all the operators. So we have the carrier times, the modulator times, the mode levels and the global feedback. If we want to dive into the FM engine, I can click on the FM oscillator page and here is where we have all the controls for our FM engine. So what we have here is all the controls for our operators. So our envelopes, our waves, 
We have a large number of waves, our pitch envelope, and we can select our operators like this. Very, very simply, I can go like this, or I can use the drop down menu to select my operator. We can also use this drop down menu to select an algorithm preset. And as you can see, we have all the DX7 algorithms, but we also have the FMX algorithms that come from the modern Yamaha Montage and Modi X Sims. We also have algorithms from the TX81Z. So lots of stuff to play with straight out of the box. If I click on this icon, I can go to my algorithm finder page. And here is where I can find algorithms very easily. So I can say I want an algorithm that has at least three carrier operators and at least three modulators like this, I can select this and now I have my results right here. And if I want to constrain the search to just three operators, I can click on these icons and then I can narrow down my results even more. And it goes without saying that if you want to create your own algorithms, you can go to the algorithm editor page and this is where we can start building our own algorithms. So I can start connecting my operators with each other. So for example, I can set operator eight as a carrier. I can modulate it with operator number seven, same with six. And as you can see, the algorithm display immediately updates and it shows me the algorithm structure. I can activate feedback loops that can be positive or negative. I can even create feedback between two operators like this. And again, this can have negative and positive values. So it's extremely powerful. The other great thing that you can do is you can pan the carriers independently. And this gives you the option to create extremely wide sounds. And let me show you how easily you can shape a sound. So in this case, I have created a punchy 808 style bass. So let me show you. So in this case, I'm just using operators 8, 7 and 6. But I can just as easily introduce my next set of operators here. And now if I want to listen to each one of these carriers in isolation, I can just hold command or control on PC. And I can listen to just this set of operators. So this gives me a little bit of harmonics and I'm going to add also operator number three and let's see what this does. So this gives me a little bit of the knock and all together. Now if I shift click, I can mute any one of these operators. So it's extremely easy to start sound designing sounds in FM Lab and all these little features really help you have a great overview of the sound you're creating. Then we have the effects page and as you can see here we have a plethora of different effects and we can have up to five effects at the same time. And then we have all the modulation options. So we have four LFOs, we have a user envelope, a step modulator, our matrix where we can see every modulation source and destination that we have assigned. And we have the import page where we can import CISX files from DX7 and the TX81Z. Here is where we can also select our emulation mode. So we can pick from Halion, FMX that emulates the response of the Yamaha FMX engine that you can find on the Yamaha Montage and Modi X, or we, you can have FM Lab to work with the classic DX7 mode. Now, when it comes to applying modulation, this is extremely simple to do in FM Lab. All you need to do is take any one of these modulation sources, like for example, LFO1, and maybe I want to assign it to my level of my first operator. So I can just drag and drop it. And now we have LFO1 modulating the level for operator one. So this gives you an incredible amount of flexibility when it comes to sound design. And last but not least, we have the ARP section where we can have our own user phrases and arpeggiators, or we can use from a huge selection of phrases. I'm going to leave you with the last sound and I hope you have loads of fun with FM Lab.